Hello. So this video assumes that you went through the QGIS uh, user interface um, videos and that you have started something called Hello QGIS and then you have some Google base layers down and that you've opened the project if you've walked away from this so that you um, can start working within this project. Um, what I want to do in this video is is walk through um, creating a something called a shape file to uh, to store vector data, and so I'm going to um, to do that. I'm going to go ahead, and uh, there's a number of different ways to create a shape file. I'm just going to go up to layer, and say create layer, and then I want to do new shape file layer, and then that's going to open up a a new GUI that I want to fit in my window here. So now we just have to uh, fill out this little form. Um, and I'm going to go all the way for file name. I'm going to go all the way over here um, to these three ellipses here and uh, click browse. And that's going to open up another window that should allow me to navigate to my wherever I've created my 251 project here and I'm going to call this um, save as a hello shape file let's say save and I'm going to leave the file encoding the alone because I'm going to trust that UTF-8 uh, is going to work for our purposes um, I'm going to change the geometry type to um, polygon we can here's the idea that you can kind of you can only store one geometry type per um, per table um, and sh the shape file is basically a table format and so I'm going to say polygon um, but notice the other options are line string multi-point point no geometry so I'm going to say polygon the reason why we're doing a, a shape file and just let's make sure that um, when you had this, uh, that's right, because I said, sorry. So the reason why we're doing a shape file is because uh, that's the main uh, vehicle that's used to move vector data from like a desktop world into the cloud to work with Earth Engine and, and back again. So the shape file is going to be our main kind of gondola that we use to move between um, places, if that's, if that's okay. Um, and then the next thing is that we should define the coordinate reference system that we're going to be storing our coordinates in. And so I'm going to go here and for the fun of it, I'm just going to say, please filter or search for three, eight, five, seven. And I'm going to make, and I'm going to say, okay, for the WGS suit of Mercator. And we're going to start by creating this shape file so that it is going to be storing coordinates in the same coordinate reference system as our um, base map and as our project. Um, the next thing is we can add a new field if we want, but we'll, we'll do this later. Um, you'll see that by default, it's going to create a, um, this is kind of a view of the data schema. And by default, it's going to have a field called a field sorry for the term like this is an object field this, a field is um database speak for a column so when it says fields here it means a column in the table and there already is a column called id that is going to take integers um, that can be up to 10 um, digits long and this is kind of the idea that what we are creating um, when we create a polygon is a kind of an object model um, where everything has a unique ID. Is that okay? So I'm going to say okay. Um, and and there is our hello shape file um, that we've now created. And so the next step is going to be to, um, uh, to put some data into that thing. Okay, so I'm going to just hit save and then go to another video.